All new at 5, a son accused of bludgeoning his 88-year-old mother to death made his initial court appearance this afternoon. On his way to court, William Rainsberger denied having anything to do with that murder. Our Derek Thomas was at court today, and he joins us live with more on this story. Derek? Rainsberger was indignant when I asked him if he murdered his mother. He looked at me and said, how can you ask that? Nope. You didn't hit her in the head with a hammer? You didn't hit her in the head with a hammer? No. You didn't? I love my mother. What a thing to say. Man. 56-year-old William Rainsberger denies murdering his mother inside her apartment at 801 North Short Ridge Road. He says he did find her body and called 911 and told the operator, someone bashed my mother's head in. The crime occurred last November, but formal charges were not filed until this week. Prosecutors say there was no forced entry and nothing was taken from the apartment. The cause of death was multiple blunt force injuries to the head. The wounds were possibly inflicted with a hammer or similar type weapon. We believe happened is that he disposed of the object that was used and did so uh, on under videotape surveillance. On the Kroger dumpster? Yes. Mm -hmm. And there was no way to recover that? Not by the time that the Kroger surveillance video was found and viewed by the detectives. At that point, it was too late. Last November, Rainsberger refused a request to take a polygraph test and hired an attorney. Police say the motive for the murder may be money. At the time of her death, Ruth Rainsberger had $98,000 in her accounts, and her three children were the beneficiaries. Range Burger's brother and sister are not charged. However, uh, prosecutors say that the investigation is ongoing. His trial is set for August 4th. Live downtown, Derek Thomas, RTV6.